All right, folks, we're back taking a look at more 2022 sleds. And in this video, we're gonna look at Yamaha's Sidewinder XTX LE. Now, when it comes to a purebred crossover machine, the, the XTX really stands apart. It's got VersaTac, which is Yamaha's uncoupled rear suspension. This really gives you the versatility to provide bump eating plushness with the type of smooth transfer that you need for that waist deep powder. Now, all of this is suspended by Fox Zero QS3 shocks. So we've talked about those QS3 shocks in a couple of other videos, but in a nutshell, the biggest benefit, you're never gonna get lost in the clickers. You've got one, two or three to tune between, and it's really easy to, to make sure all your suspension is dialed into the same setting. Handlebar wise, you've got the typical control pod that's really been reduced in size uh, from the Yamaha and Articat in recent years, so it doesn't get in the way. A big grab bar, and then down below, you've got the heated seat, really just an underrated feature over, overall. If you've never sat on one of these at the end of a long day, it's really nice when you're getting back to the truck. Um, cold, dark, dark of night to have that heated seat option. Of course, you're gonna wanna tether for anything you're doing off trail wise, just in case that sled does tip over on you. And then a nice gas cap feature from Yamaha here as well. I believe that's an accessory, doesn't come stock from the factory, but uh, who doesn't love a billet gas cap, right? Up front, you've got the typical Yamaha gauge cluster, ton of options to really customize this one overall. So you've got things like coolant temp, voltmeter, um, some different viewpoints down below. You can even look at air intake temperature, for example. And then up top, you've got uh, RPMs and speed. You can also hide whether you wanna show the hard figure in those uh, display bars. You can actually show the coolant temperature in a degree, or you can just show the bar high and low. On the right side, you've got things like uh, RPMs as well as altitude even, you can show that. You can do your hour meter, trip meter, odometer. Just a ton of flexibility to, to find how you wanna set this up for what you're gonna feel most comfortable seeing heading down the trail. Of course, you've got the big uh, 12 volt plug in there, the old school cigarette lighter, if you will. Um, so the ability to plug something else in there and drop it in that heated goggle bag that you see right in front of the handlebars there. You've also got the ability to control the left side of the gauge from the handlebars as well. So the left button there controls the top left corner of the gauge, the right button controlling the bottom uh, left corner of the gauge, I should say. Here's that goggle bag I was talking about. So this is heated from the motor. It's mesh on the bottom. So if you drop in a pair of gloves, a pair of goggles, you can see that there's the stock gas gap there. Um, it's gonna be warm. The motor's really gonna heat it up and, and keep it toasty. If you've got one of those smartphones that like to freeze, it's a great spot for that as well. Down low, you've got ice scratchers included from the factory. Um, these things are strong and they're stiff, so you're definitely going to get some good snow spray to keep that high fax cool, to keep the engine cool. Um, so love to see that. And then this cuts over to those QS3 shocks we talked about at the beginning of the video. So it doesn't look like a ton of adjustability. You've only got three settings, but what you don't realize is that's not three clicks. That's a three entirely different suspension setups, essentially all wrapped up into one. Um, you move significantly through the stiffness to plushness scale, if you will. Um, in those three clicks. And then out back, you've got great storage from the factory here, really integrates nicely with the seat, doesn't take away from the look of the snowmobile overall, but lets you bring along any gear you might need. So that's a quick walk around of the 2022 Sidewinder 